my greetings dear students in this video we will try to see how can we use chinese remainder theorem to solve system of linear congruences so here you see we have taken three uh, linear congruences and we will try to find a simultaneous solution which satisfy all these congruences and here as we know this is a1 a2 a3 and this is n1 n2 n3 and as you see here n1 n2 n3 are relatively prime so we can use chinese remainder theorem so first step is find n that is 3 is to 5 is to 2 which is 30 now from here we will find n1 that is 30 by 3 10 and n2 is equal to 30 by 5 that is 6 and 3 is equal to 30 by 2 that is 15 so here again using the theory of single linear congruences as gcd of 10 and 3 is 1 so 10x congruent 1 mod 3 has unique solution so i again repeat this gcd of 10 and 3 is 1 and 1 divides 1 so this linear congruence has one unique solution so how can we find that so that is 10 modulo 3 is 1 so this is x congruent 1 mod 3 and clearly 1 satisfy this congruence x is equal to 1 satisfy this so from here we get x1 is equal to 1 and secondly we get 6x congruent 1 mod 5 again 6 modulo 5 1 x is congruent 1 mod 5 So again the solution is x2 is 1 third one is 15x congruent 1 mod 2 so again 15 modulo 2 is 1 x is congruent 1 mod 2 and clearly solution is 1 so once we have evaluated this then again from the statement of chinese remainder theorem we can write the simultaneous solution the formula is a1 n1 x1 a2 n2 x2 a3 n3 x3 and putting all the values as i already told you this is a1 a2 a3 and this is n1 n2 n3 and here this is x1 x2 x3 so putting all these values 2 is to 10 is to 1 then uh, 3 is to 6 is to 1 5 is to 15 is to 1 so after simplification this will comes out to be 113 so if you multiply this is 20 plus 18 75 113 and the solution is given by 113 modulo n1 n2 n3 modulo 30 and this comes out to be 23 modulo 30 so this will be the required solution let us discuss one note more numerical for uh, chinese remainder theorem here we have find the smallest integer a is strictly greater than 2 such that it satisfy all these so first of all we write all these in congruence form that is from here we get 2 divides a so a is congruent 0 mod 2 and here 3 divides a plus 1 so a plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 3 which very simply may be written as a is congruent minus 1 mod 3 and which further imply a congruent 2 mod 3 and third one a plus 2 congruent 0 mod 4 and after a little simplification it becomes a is congruent 2 mod 4 and next one a plus 3 is congruent 0 mod 5 so again by simplification a is equal to congruent 2 mod 5 and the last one a plus 4 is congruent 0 mod 6 which imply again a is congruent 2 mod 6 so these are the congruences so we get a system here of 
five concurrences. But as you see here, we are getting n1, 2, n2, 3, n3, 4, n4, 5, n5, 6. They are not relatively prime. So first of all, we have to reduce this system into a subsystem in which all the conditions of China's remainder theorem are satisfied. So that system will be, will be so we take, so very carefully we will write that. Here you see that system is A is concurrent 2 mod 3, A is concurrent 2 mod 4 and A is concurrent 2 mod 5. So instead of all these 5, we will take these 3. Now, why we will take these three? Why we will uh, left over th those two concurrences? That is very important. Very carefully we have to do this selection. We have to see here whether the solution of these three concurrence applies to these five concurrences. The simultaneous solution that we can find for these three is a simultaneous solution for all these concurrences. Why? Because the concurrences that we have not taken, this one and this one, actually they come from here. Uh, the, this one and this one. Not this one. This one and this one actually come from here. So how can we show that? How can we imagine that? So we can see that. You see, from this second concurrence, we can write 4 divides a minus 2. And clearly, 2 divides 4 these two get imply 2 divides a minus 2 or which in terms of concurrence a is concurrent 2 mod 2 and a is concurrent 0 mod 2. So very easily we can write a is concurrent 0 mod 2. Now next thing you see we have a is concurrent 2 mod 3 and from here a is concurrent 2 mod 2. So very easily as GCD of 2 and 3 is 1, so we can write A is concurrent 2 mod 6. So this concurrence can also be derived from this system. So this is how we can uh, take the subsystem. Now let me write the subsystem here so that we can find the solution. So subsystem is A is concurrent 2 mod 3, A is concurrent 2 mod 4 A is concurrent 2 mod 5 so we will solve this system now so as the coefficients are 1 and n1, n2, n3 are relatively prime so we can directly apply Chinese remainder theorem that is n is equal to 3 is to 4 is to 5 which is 60 and capital N1 is 60 by 3, 20, and 2 is 60 by 4, 15, and 3 is 60 by 5, 12. First linear concurrence is 20x concurrent 1 mod 3, and next is 15x concurrent 1 mod 4, and third one is 12x concurrent 1 mod 5. Now very easily we try to solve them to find solution of x1, x2 and x3. And from first concurrence we can write it as so as you see 20 mod 3. So it can be written minus 1x concurrent 1 mod 3. And very easily we can write it as x is concurrent 2 mod 3. And from second again 15 is written as minus 1x concurrent 1 mod 4 which again very easily may be written as 3 mod 4 and third one this is 2x concurrent 1 mod 5 and uh, when we multiply by 3 on both sides so here it is 6 6 5 modulo 5 is 1 and we get x is concurrent 3 mod 5. So from here as you see this is x1, x2 and x3. 
Now we put all these values in the simultaneous solution formula and the formula is x bar is equal to a1 n1 x1 a2 n2 x2 a3 n3 x3 now putting all the values a1 is 2 20 is to 2 next is 2 is to 15 is to 3 2 is to 12 is to 3 so when we multiply all these so we will get 80 plus 90 72 which is 242 and here x bar is concurrent 242 modulo 60 which is further 2 mod 60. Now very carefully look at the statement question is find the smallest integer strictly greater than 2. Now here the solution is 2 but we have been asked strictly greater than 2. What is the next possible solution that is 2 plus 6 and here the answer is x is equal to 2 plus 60 62 which is the required answer.